All right, wonderful people. I want you people to pay attention to this uh, court update. And uh, this is about uh, obedience. This is about a good movement. But I want you to pay attention and you are going to listen what is happening. Well, um, we were here on Wednesday. The court gave us yes. Wednesday as a day to come for our ruling. Okay. And, and what then happened? we were given the same information that the court was yes. attending a conference and that the ruling had been adjourned to today. So I take it today. that at the time they were joining to today, they already knew that they would be out of whatever conference they were going to have. So we're here back today, and yes. they're giving us the same excuse of the court. The same excuse. Attending a conference. Um, what we really don't happened? I think that that is a fair way to treat us. You see, fair way day, to treat them. everybody has rights. I think the, the impression that as litigants, as people who approach the court, we have no rights. We are absolutely at the mercy of the system. It's a very wrong one. Respect begets respect. Very wrong respect. one. You have to respect me as a litigant, then I will respect you yes. as the judex. So is, there is, if, is it any respect in Nigeria? We, what we see is that we have not been fairly treated. I have been in Abuja yes. for how long now? Nobody has asked me about my hotel bills. I practice from Lagos. If he wasn't going to All sit, right. he should have told me. He should have told me on Wednesday, <laughs> I'll be back in my chambers in Lagos now. One Nigeria. But he asked me to come back today, only to get yes. the same excuse. I don't think it's fair. I don't think it's fair. Uh, you think it's not fair? And as far as I'm concerned, All right. we are, by the grace of God, going to do something about it. Uh, in, this, in, yes. in the sense that I think we need to sue. We need, we need, we need to bring it before the court so that it will be examined. Uh, what we have we lost, I mean, we, the right that we sought is to restrain this swearing in. So by the court not sitting, we've lost a, a great deal. That's right. So who is going to pay for that? You, if you came and gave a ruling that we don't have a right, it would be understandable. Now you're okay, but this time seemingly, around, seemingly, seemingly staying away from the court. Makes me understand that we have a right. But for one reason or the other, you cannot find the courage yes. to declare that right. So you are now trying to use absence from the court as a means of depriving me of that right. So I'm going to sue, you're going to pay. All right. Okay, we are, we are waiting. <laughs> you pay we are for waiting. it. You are going to tell me why you left the court. And we will fight it no, we to the Supreme far. Court. And maybe we will establish as Supreme a precedent court. that Nigerians ought not to be treated in this fashion. With all due respect to the Over Internet, 230 to million. I have the greatest uh, respect him for that. Right. I said, you know, yes. this ruling it will not take two minutes. That's right. It will not take two minutes to deliver the ruling and then get back to uh, any conference that, it, I mean, is attending. You know, so what I want to say, I have said it, I have written I have written to all the security agencies. Oh, you have written? I have written to major okay. embassies. I have written to the American embassy. I have written to the British embassy. I have written to the French embassy, German embassy. And I have warned that you cannot make the mistake of installing an unconstitutional president in Nigeria. An it will an have been unconstitutional better president. that you resolve this question that we brought before the court. We are not All saying right. that the question must be resolved in, in our favor. We brought the question here to be resolved. We have a right okay. to have the question resolved. Like I always say, in, in hearing ABC court. belongs to me. Decision belongs to the court. Belongs to the court. You understand? So. 
But the judge is nowhere to be the found. Mistake of installing somebody unconstitutionally is an overthrow of the constitution. That person, now if you read wow. section one, subsection two of the constitution, it says no person or group of persons shall be permitted to take control of the federal government or any part of it, take control of federation or any part of it, except in accordance with the constitution. That section invests every Nigerian with authority to resist whoever okay. is sworn in. Contrary to the constitution. <laughs> Nigeria every Nigerian resist. in every station of life, yes. wherever he is. To do what? That is to do an what? order from the constitution to that person. To do what? To resist to what? whoever is sworn in unconstitutionally. Okay. So okay. it Nigeria must youth. be that those who want to do this wearing in have conspired against yes. democracy. That's right. I want to overthrow Are it. you sure? Are you? Okay. Okay. The Constitution says, Section 14, Subsection 2A, that sovereignty belongs to the people yes. of Nigeria. The people. Right. And they but in Nigeria, it's the uh, other way around. To those who govern <laughs> through the Constitution. So where you do not uh, yeah, yeah. observe the Constitution, it means that you do not have the consent of the people to rule. The people okay. have a right. Okay. To say we are Big not grammar. going to recognize you and acknowledge you. Yes. What is and who is the people? Where is the to people? To Nigeria <laughs> is what they suppose. They are behaving like children. As far as I'm concerned. Okay. They are behaving okay. like children. We all saw Shoneko here. Somebody went with a decree or word of mouth, made somebody president and commander in chief. A court, are you listening now? It took just one declaration from a court. And it was gone. It's the same thing that we are, oh, sorry, the same thing that we are about, we are, we are getting into. Any court in Nigeria is invested with authority to interpret the Constitution and can say that the person who calls himself president was not duly elected That's and right. therefore cannot answer that title and cannot give any instructions that should be okay. obeyed. And that would be uh, the beginning Monday of crisis. We are warned against this. I don't know what is making them they are warned. think that it's a joke. I don't know how you would take 200 million Nigerians as a joke. It's not you 200, know, it's 213. It's not going to happen. Nigeria is more because than 200, 213 is, million you go and have in a that election. But you feel too big. Okay. Like I was explaining to someone, it's the same in discipline. Where you have red lights, say stop. That's right. You feel too big. Because you are driving your jeep, you don't stop. It's the same thing. <laughs> that is, it is the discipline in us that we have carried over to this exercise. The constitution says you've not made it. You've not yes. made it. Uh, 25% in Abuja. Nobody has told me that I'm wrong. 1999 no constitution, constitution said, no court. look at what I is talking to this about. this court for the court to tell me that I'm wrong. That's right. Rather than telling me I'm wrong, the court you know, stays away from court. Mute. The court no, cannot even found. look me in the eye. <laughs> yes. Because you are... So nobody are you? has told me I'm wrong. <laughs> to the court. Nobody has the courage to tell me I'm wrong. They are not going to tell you are wrong. Because You're I already am wrong. Right. <laughs> so, the constitution says you should go for a second election. It's a simple, very okay. simple thing. Even as if that second election does not produce a winner... You go for a third one. You feel too Where? big to comply Where? with the Constitution. Because all your life has been a life of indiscipline. All right, wonderful people. All right, wonderful people. <laughs> now you understand this is the update of uh, OB Court in Abuja. <laughs> Breaking judge that's supposed to rule the case today is nowhere to be found now you understand what i'm saying you know sometimes our people don't want to learn you see all these people seeing them speaking bb grammar believe you me they don't even understand the way that nigeria is running they don't understand it we have said this in time with that number but people don't seem to understand what we are talking about Nigeria is a fraudulent, 
There is no rule of law in Nigeria. There is nothing like rule of law. There is no law. There is no order in Nigeria. Nigeria is a national cake. Nigeria is a jungle where anything can happen anytime, any moment. You, you, you see, but some of people in Nigeria never understand. He's talking about uh, uh, the people of Nigeria did not accept the, the president elect. Who are you not to accept him? Somebody that they have already given the button. You are here talking. You see now, the same thing we are telling them. Instead of these people to talk about Mazen Nam, you never use Mazen Nam the kind of case to learn. You never use Mazen Nam the kind of case, case to learn. And all of you people, we are keeping mute. You are keeping silent, thinking that uh, in your own, they will favor you. Who are you for them to favor you? You are nobody. We have said this in time with that number. We, the Igbo people, Biafran people in general, we are not part of Nigeria. By the time you understand this, it's going to be better for you and me. That this contraption is not for you. He's calling 1999 constitution that have made the Fulanese to be in charge in every security apparatus. In 1999 constitution have made them above anybody. We were telling these people, when you are talking about disobedience, why can't you first go to 1999 constitution and amend it? And talk about that, dissolve that 1999 constitution, not amend, dissolve it. Because that constitution of 1999 is a fraudulent, it's evil. He makes some people superior over some people. And you are saying that we are in one country, but these people won't learn. Mazen Namdekano, the court of appeal, have discharged Mazen Namdekano and acquitted him. He's still in DSS dungeon. All these people now that speaking BB grammar, they wouldn't say, they couldn't say even nothing from their mouth. Now they are defending things that they know that they can't. They couldn't. You couldn't. You, you can't defend it. They can't defend it. Now you understand what I'm saying. You know this is eyes opening. This is how they will keep on. You understand. Postponing this case, you will go to court, the judge will not be there. You will go to court, the judge will not be there. The day that you will see the judge, they will bring a new case telling you to go and settle your, your issue, go and settle uh, uh, your, 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 I mean, your problems within your party. You see, by the time they will finish, Tinubu will finish his eight years. I believe you me, I have told you people, go and write it down. There's no two ways about it. Everything that I'm saying is a gospel. I don't believe in superstitions. We always face reality. Let me introduce myself. All right, wonderful people. I still remember Mazo Kenna known as the Biafran Child Wachineke. The general. Here I am. I always set the record straight. You are still on IPOB Rapture Media under the leadership of Mazin Nandiokuchukukan. Now you understand. They are yapping. You see, all this thing I'm saying is a blabbing. These people are chasing shadow. These people don't know the ethics of that contraption. These people don't know how the foundation of Nigeria was built. They don't even know. You are just there joking, talking, speaking BB grammar, telling Nigerian people to stand up, the youth to stand up, to come and defend what? All those people that they are bloggers, staying on, you know, using internet, making their own daily bread. You think that these people have uh, OB in their heart. OB that have came to deceive our people. Where is OB? Nowhere to be found. On Monday is 29th. We are going to see. They say that uh, they have already stolen the mandate. Uh, they, uh, they are going to, uh, all this thing is just uh, yapping. You have forgotten that Nigeria started leaking election in 1963. That is when we said Nigeria died in 1963. So you don't, some of these people don't know history. These people, they don't know history. They don't even go back to, to what they have faced. Because if you don't know your past, how are you going to be able to prepare your presence? Your presence. Now you understand what I'm saying. These people are just saying what they don't know. This is what I have for you people today. Where is obedient? They have a hapa pugoha. We don't lie. We told them this thing from the beginning. 
all this one they are telling you will be went to secondary school he never lost any case will be went to university everything that he's doing he won it he win he do this all this thing is a blabbing all this thing is a what you you are just saying what you don't know tinubu is coming on 29 we are here we are here i'm coming i will still come up and let you people understand the new development the new development on uh present elect now you understand we don't lie we face reality this is what i have for you people today good day and make sure you circulate it obi came to deceive our people obi is the worst thing that happens to biafran restoration project i'm the one that said it obi is the worst that happens to biafran restoration project have obi talked to about his brother the answer is no he's going there roaming around like idiot with go shigumi that is between the Boko Haram and the Nigerian terrorist government that are supplying them whatever they want. Obi is not talking about his brother. He's there talking about presidency. I told Obi to go away from there, that Nigeria is not for you. But Obi won't listen because he thought that he's a part of the politicians. This is what I have. Tell Obi to go and fight for himself. Good day.